Good day, everybody. How you doing? I thought I might turn on my megahertz music at the last minute, so I'm pulling it up. Does negative self-talk stop you from receiving? That's today's question. That's what we're going to be grappling with. That's what we're going to chop up and, and see what everything is about. Let's see if I can get that to... I got a new computer, thank goodness. So now I'm... Um, your girl is back up and running. And I'm loving it. So when you get a chance, let me know how the volume is. I got to learn how to work with it. Hey, everybody, how are you? When you get a chance, give me some feedback about the music because we're going to chop it up today. Does negative self-talk stop you from receiving? What do you think? What do you think? Look, like all off center. <laughs> Sometimes I have those moments where I want the thing to be center. You feel me? I don't want it to be off, but I know it's still off, so whatever. Hey, y'all, welcome to the conversation. So, is it true? Does negative self talk stop you from receiving? And when I say receiving, what do you think that that means? What do you think that entails? What is receiving? Before I start running off at the mouth, I want to see what kind of feedback you all have. Because for me, if you um, checked out the video that I put up yesterday, you'll see that I spoke about dealing with negative self-talk and how it affected me, especially earlier on in life and um, the toll that it took on my confidence, um, probably my ability to seize opportunity because of a feeling of, of lacking worthiness, um, not being able to receive compliments because the tape that I was running in my head didn't match the compliments that I was receiving. So it was like, I couldn't make the connection. How many of you have been like that or are like that now? Because a lot of the things that we that happen to us earlier on can be pulled forward if we don't fix it, if we don't recondition ourselves, if we don't recondition those thoughts or beliefs that are in there, it can change how you operate in life. It could still be affecting you to this day. And for most people, it is. Negative self-talk is a tape that we run, right? And a lot of us are running a tape whether we know it or not. Some of us have champion dialogue in there, and some of us have completely self-defeating dialogue in there. What's on your tape? I see what you're saying. Hey, Trey. Hey, Shirley. Welcome. Hey, Larry. Welcome to the conversation. Hey, Everett. I don't think that it will stop you unless you let it stop you from receiving. Positive thinking isn't always the best. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying, Everett. I think negative self-talk self can stop you. If you, if you tell yourself that you're not, let's, say, let's go with a, a limiting belief, you're not pretty enough. If you, tell, if you tell yourself you're too old for something, if you tell yourself you're too poor, you may not even feel like you belong somewhere. You may not give yourself permission to belong somewhere. If you tell yourself you're too rich, you may feel too privileged to be speaking on behalf of an issue or something. I mean, a lot of us are walking around with extremes or, or things that we, or labels that we've allowed ourselves to believe, and that may stop us from taking action in a certain way. It may stop us from believing that something is possible. It may stop us from putting ourselves in position to receive more or to receive gifts or bounty or blessings because you don't feel worthy. And I find that a lot of, um, a lot of us have carried those, some of it's childhood traumas. A lot of us have carried childhood trauma or childhood um, beliefs that, that did not support you into your adulthood into our adulthood. I'm not making myself necessarily separate from you guys, but I definitely have done the work. I do the work and the results have been fantastic for me because I'm not just allowing this stuff to take me out. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's it, right? You know, what do I need to do to rework the mentality around this? So I'm, get, I'm getting out of my own way. I'm not self-sabotaging. How many of you are self-sabotaging? 
Hey everybody, welcome to the conversation. Um, hey Astrid, what up? It's halting when thinking negatively. Yeah, I definitely would say that when you have a lot of negative thinking swirling about, and even if it's not a lot, even if it's in the moment, but if it's swirling about, it can change the action that you take or don't take, right? It can change how you feel about yourself and how you show up in a moment because of the negative self-chatter. It can stop you from seizing an opportunity because of the negative self-chatter. It can stop you from going after a, a job or receiving love in a relationship from negative self-chatter. There's, there's times that somebody may come into your life, right? And they may think you are beautiful. They may think that you, you are so fantastic, but because you have been running a different tape in your mind that tells you you're not so beautiful. You got to get rid of this, this role right here. <laughs> okay. You got to uh, take care of the, the, the droopiness that's starting to come in. Whatever things you might be telling yourself that may not make you feel the best, that may not align you with feeling good about who you are, you're going to show up differently with that person and you may block yourself from receiving the love, receiving the affection that they have for you because you just don't believe it about yourself. Right? Hey, Kevin. He says, absolutely. The man who, see, who says he can and the one who says he can't are both right. Yeah. They, yeah, that reminds me of that one thing where it's like, uh, if you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. If you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. And do you notice how some of us might be like, but no, that's, that's, that's not how I look. Or that's, you fight for your insecurity because it's just what you're used to. You fight for your, 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 your lack, that limiting thought, because it's what you've associated yourself with for so long. It's conditioned how you feel about yourself. It's conditioned how you respond to your environment. It's conditioned how you relate to other people. And it's become a part of your identity sometimes if you're not careful. Like you self-identify with the limiting belief. And that could be totally in the way of opportunity and growth for you. What do you think? Totally in the way. Totally shutting things down. Um, ideas, right? I wrote a couple things down because I didn't want to forget. But like... You might stop yourself from receiving an idea, or if you do get the idea, you might stop yourself from taking action on it. Because who am I to put this out there? Well, I'll wait for somebody else to, more credible or more accolades or in a, another position to put this out there. They're more qualified. Why? What, it, what have you been telling yourself that, sorry about that, I'm surprised if a call got through. What have you been telling yourself that, that might be making you feel like you're not qualified, right? Ideas could be pouring out of you. It may be something so dope and you're like, oh, but it's coming from me, <laughs> right? Because of the negative self-talk, because of what you've been allowing yourself to think about who you are. And if, it, if, if you don't become aware of it, it'll go unchecked and you don't realize that it is stopping you from receiving the bounty that, that's just waiting to pour into your life. But because you don't believe yourself to be in position to, to receive it or you don't feel worthy to receive it, it doesn't get a chance to come in. You'll reject it even. Or you won't even see it. Remember I was saying in the video yesterday, if you, if you caught it, um, people might give me a compliment, but I couldn't even, because I had been running another tape, that, that had a lot of negative self-chatter about my body image, I wasn't even able to receive the compliments. And I remember when I came, I remember when I first came out to Los Angeles and I was 18 years old. And this, and at the time I, I would say, you know, I gotta go where the big dogs play, right? And uh, prior to that, I was a child uh, performer, right? I've been working professionally in the business, but at, on child, like, no, because I did the open, I mean, there's things that I did that adults were involved, but I mostly was involved with it from a, a kid's perspective. When I came out to Los Angeles, that was like, all right, 
I'm going on auditions with grown women. It's like, whoa, right? I wasn't into like, you know, the little skirts and all the things that I'm into now tapped into my femininity. I wasn't there yet, you know? So that was really a challenge to kind of come into that and see all these confident women walking in. And, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> Right? So I went home and I did, I started doing mirror work, talked about that in the video. I started doing affirmations. I started, um, you know, working on what I was telling myself, working on how I saw myself, working on total self-acceptance. And that was not an easy job. I think that that's, that can still be an ongoing job as we continue to move through life because check it out, even as we mature, society doesn't even let you mature good. Now it's like everything's anti-aging. It's like, oh my gosh. Can we just can we just relax into this thing already? Right? Can we just allow each other to mature? Like what a blessing it is to get older, to mature is the word I like to use. I love being 44, to be honest with you. But I'm like, what a blessing it is. But it's like everything coming at you is telling you, uh-uh, anti, anti, anti. And it's like, but wait, what about embracing all that comes with what we are and what we have the opportunity to see that some people don't even get a chance to see? What about that beautiful, like, and you know what? We were talking about this on our podcast recently, the uh, In Vogue podcast, how men in um, the entertainment business, they get to mature even more eloquently than women. Because when they get their gray hairs and wrinkles and stuff, it's considered to be a distinguished gentleman. Women start graying and getting older. It's you old. Why? So we got to do the work on ourselves to make sure that we do total self-acceptance for ourselves. That we send ourselves the right stimuli every day. That we uh, rework if you're running a bad tape, if you're running a tape that is telling you that you are not worthy, that you are not beautiful, that you are not okay. Even if you don't want to be all this fluffy stuff. You don't have to have all the adjectives. Just that you're okay with who you are right where you are. Get that tape together. Right. Okay, let me see what y'all are saying. Uh, Shirley says, because of PPU, I found out that this was what was holding me back of growing. Yay! PPU is my online coaching school, you guys, Personal Power University. I'm going to be starting up another uh, round of transformation in June. I got something special coming up for the launch of that. Stay perched. But PPU has been one of the most amazing things I've ever started done in my life. It's been so rewarding and I'm very hands on and my bottom line is your breakthrough and the cool thing is we stay connected until the PPU family is off the charts. Thank you Shirley. Uh, Marquita, hey Michael, hey Irina, what up? So good to see your name in the chat, darling. Um, Shirley, hey, no you're talking to Bindu, hey Bindu, what's up Renee? Oh, bless up, Tasha. I'm glad you're getting um, value. And uh, Didi as well, welcome from, from Japan. That's our PPU family from Japan. We are global, baby. Um, okay, so that it's... It, if you take nothing from our conversation today, make sure that you're aware of the tape that you're running up here. Is what you're telling yourself is your self-talk steeped in negativity? Is it defeating you at every turn? Even if it's not every turn, is it stopping you from seizing opportunity? Is it stopping you from creating opportunity? Is it stopping you from being able to be intimate because of maybe your feelings about your body image or what you keep telling yourself that you're not good enough? There's somebody for everybody. I know y'all heard that phrase before. But first, you got to believe in you. You know, there's so, some women, they don't even have... They don't even have what people might say is the standard of beauty. But because they have such a confidence about themselves, you like, well, dang, well, what you got? It intrigues you because they carry an energy about themselves that says, I accept me for me. And I'm okay, good enough, right where I am. And if you get it, great. And if you don't get it, that's cool too. And the more you stretch, the more you're giving yourself an opportunity 
to see what else is out there for you to have. You, you stretch into more of what's possible for your life. You stretch into to giving yourself room for more to come in, more prosperity, more love. But you, but you got to check and see what's going on up here if it's shutting you down, if it's blocking and you're not even aware. Because awareness is the first key to change. If you're not aware that something is there to be changed or worked with, you won't address it. And this is one of the, when I worked on this, this is one of the best things I ever did in my life. And I continue to work on this because guess what? We got stimuli coming in every day challenging what we're telling ourselves. Right? No fear to be uh, what you are. Yeah, it's, 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 it's huge. How many people do we know that aren't even as talented at whatever job they're in? But because they, they run the right tape, they put themselves in position to get whatever they want. Or they at least give themselves a fighting chance to have it. Some of us don't even give ourselves a fighting chance to have it. Because the tape has already shut you down. You either got champion dialogue running or you got that negative self-talk. And sometimes they're going back and forth. But you got to beef up that champion dialogue so much that by the time the negative comes in, it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, not today. Because it's been running more often. This is your conditioning. This is your conditioning. This is your conditioning. I remember I was, I was conditioning myself so good one time that I ended up saying what I say in my champion dialogue out loud. And they were like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. And it had yet to manifest. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> but that's how much I was working, baby. I was like, nah, not today. Not moving forward. Shift. 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 Who's got negative? Oh, my pleasure, Juliana. Ju Juliana. Um, who in the chat is willing to be transparent and say if, if they've dealt with this before or if you're dealing with it in the current moment? Right? Negative self-talk. It can shut you down. It can shut out opportunity. It can shut out love. Romantic love. Right? It can shut you down from, from producing or receiving ideas. It can shut down your willpower. What if you got a body goal, but you talk about yourself so bad, you don't even let yourself get in the gym. You talk about yourself so bad that you don't take the first walk down uh, around the corner just to start the process. Just start so that you can gain momentum. Because guess what? When you get those small wins, it's going to give you more confidence. And then you can add to that small win. And the more you're consistent, you're going to gain. You're going to gain. You're going to be changing. That's the reconditioning. But you've got to start and you've got to be consistent and you've got to give yourself a fighting chance. So if you've got some negative self-talk in here that's shutting you down, take some time to find out what it is. Write it down. Make it plain for yourself. And then address it because awareness is the first key to change. Let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, bless up, Shirley. It's my pleasure. Irina says there need to be more people like you to tell them not to be afraid of life, of people around, because everyone is different and unique. That's right, Irina. Cheryl says, absolutely, it's not what people say about you that matters. It's what you say about yourself. You better say it with all your chest. Love it. Love you, Rona, all that way from Louisiana. Love you back, Cheryl. Charles says, thank you for sharing and pouring it to others. It's my pleasure, Charles. You already know, PPU family. Renee says, I deal with this a lot. My head is my enemy. Honey, you are not the only one. I think most people make their enemy. Their self-talk is their enemy. And you want to think that it's the enemy outside, but it's really the enemy within. That's the one that's been shutting you down. Right? That's the one that's been giving you the, the, the self-dialogue that doesn't push you in the direction of that which you really desire for yourself. That's the one that tells you, eh, I ain't going to even go for it. I ain't, who am I to, oh, I don't know if I want to show him who I, show her who I, it's that. A lot of us are walking around with extremes, too fat, too 
skinny. I used to have that. Too short, too tall, too... Come on, throw them in the chat. We already know. <laughs> okay. And it is the thing that's between you and your prosperity. It is the thing that's between you and your next successful relationship. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Vita, hey. Nobody can't stop PPU power. Say that, Dee Dee. That's right. PPU is awesome. When you guys get a chance, check it out. Uh, Vita, guilt. My guilt is mine. Ooh, good for you. Thank you for your transparency, honey. Thank you for your transparency. You're not the only one. How about that? Hey, Bindu. The crazy thing is that what we call our negative self-talk is actually internalized opinions of other people buried in our subconscious. You better say the science of it, honey. You better say the science. It is what we have allowed ourselves to believe. It's what we've allowed ourselves to, to embrace. It's conditioning. But we can recondition ourselves. And if you think you need assistance with that, come see me at RonaBennett.com, join PPU, or find someone or something, or get you some books, or get you some tapes, and recondition yourself. Because it could be the thing that's in between you and your prosperity. It could be the thing that's in between you and the next healthy relationship. It could be the thing that's shutting you down from even starting towards whatever goal you have. Okay. Um, Steven says, your live videos are so helpful and inspirational. Ms. Oh, my pleasure, Steven. Irina says, can you imagine the other half of the globe? Moscow is watching you and sends you all positive vibes. Bless up, baby. It's so good to see you. Anthony says, I am notoriously hard on myself in my weakest moments. I always try to remind myself, don't believe everything you think. Hello, wow. Say that. Don't believe everything you think. That's not talking about the enemy outside of yourself. That's talking about the enemy inside. But let's go ahead and change that language. Let's not even call it an enemy. Let's just say that's the voice that you have that's been going unchecked for too long. And now you're going to integrate that because look, what can you gain from it? What can you learn from that voice? What has it been telling you? Okay, so now let me find all the things that I am. Let me amplify that. And then what are the things I do want to program myself with? Let me amplify that. And then what do I need to surround myself in my environment, whether it's people, a genius environment, an environment that inspires me a certain way, whether it's an inspirational video, what do I need to put in my space that's going to foster those thoughts, that's going to help and support those thoughts and things that I need to rework the tape I've been running? Hmm. Shirley says, once I had to go to a party of some uh, family and they haven't seen me for a long time and that is when I was lost. I uh, lost so much weight and felt so powerful to go to the party. Mm. And normally they would, uh, I'm sorry, honey. And normally they would uh, say things about my weight and this time I walked in and felt so confident. Every one of their complimented me how I looked great. All my energy blew them away. That, and you know what's powerful about that? Even though it came, the stimuli was like, came from something that could have been considered whatever, right? But you got there, right? Look how you felt. Look how you carried yourself because you felt a certain way about what you did for you. Can you imagine if you, let's say you got a body goal. How would you show up if you just lost the 15 pounds? Like, think about that even if it's not here yet, just so that you can see what you may be holding yourself back from. What experience are you being cheated out of? Because you haven't taken action in the direction that you do have control over maybe, depending on the person. If you got like a, 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 a medical illness that could prevent you, that's different. We're not talking about that. But where we had the, the opportunity and the wherewithal to take action and get results but we're just not doing it think about who you would be if you had the result and what you could possibly be cheating yourself out of as far as experience is concerned and who you would be how you would show up to life if you did it think about that right now what what are you cheating yourself out of if you did the work 
what could life look like for you? Come on, I hope that excites you. Because all it takes is for you to take the action. You got to do the work. If you need help with accountability, come see me. You come on. I'm here. We're here. PPU is here. Take your take your power back. Take if you never had it, come get it. You feel me? And let's live. The, the, your, hopefully, your greater days are ahead of you, not behind you. And what could be the determining factor of whether they're ahead of you? Your choices and reconditioning. Because it could be a thought that's keeping you from getting to that next level. It could be just the way you're seeing something or you're encapsulating something in the way that you speak about it that could be causing the defeat, that could be causing the limiting belief, that could be causing you not to embrace your environment a certain way or right where you are a certain way. Right? Okay. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. Hey, everybody. Hey, Tanya. PPU rules, serious, best choice ever. <laughs> yes, PPU. Hey, Tiffany, I just had a battle with my mind and I ended up winning that battle. Come on, Nancy. PPU family in the building. I'm so glad you're doing these lives. You are always on fire. <laughs> Thank you, Marquita. All the Y'all, and, and just in case you do come on board, you see lots of PPU family in here. They're amazing individuals. And the cool thing about being around a support system like that is everybody's on, in a similar pathway of trying to improve the quality of their life. And when you're around other people that are challenging themselves on that level, that helps you to take the next best step, for you to get more courage to do it. And then we come together annually and celebrate that. And we get in each other's presence. And then I give out awards to chronicle, to, to, to celebrate their accomplishment. If they earned it. So it keeps you going. I want to turn those awards into something really big. I've seen people turn their lives around and they don't face life the same. It's not that you're not going to have another winter. It's not that you're not going to have another harvest. I mean, you're going to have all seasons. Are, we, come on, seasons are cyclical. They, they keep going. But how you face them could be completely different depending on how you recondition yourself. Okay? Let's see. Uh, team, come get your power. <laughs> Come on, Tiffany, with the hashtags. You know I love when you do that. Yes, I know. I am taking my power back, and I have my vision on deck. Speak. K, K to not. Hey. Uh, Bindu says, could you give a tip on reconditioning or what to do when we catch a negative thought? Okay. Uh, Irina says, love you. More lives. Wish to be uh, in L.A. Hope to see you soon, too, honey. Hope to see you too soon. I hope you've been um, great. Very true. PPU is remarkable. Thank you, Bindu. It depends on the limiting belief that a person has. But this gets into more personalized um, uh, coaching because I feel like depending on where someone's limiting belief is coming from, I, I speak acutely to that. It could have come from a childhood trauma. It could have come from um, um, family, you know, just a, a cultural thing. It depends on where the limiting belief comes from, what I would advise someone to do. Um, to overcome it. But the main thing is to develop your champion dialogue. And that's something that we do at PPU. I teach people specifically how to do that. And this is coming through an incantation, which is like a personal manifesto. This comes through your affirmations. And then I give you, uh, I'll surround you with the right books. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the major books out there, for some people, is very impactful. It's, it's, it's a classic, As a Man Thinketh, by James Allen. But environment is huge. What you tell yourself on a consistent basis is huge. Coming up with a personal manifesto could be amazing and fun and a fun way to anchor it no matter where you're going, while you're driving, whatever you're doing, while you're working out. There's just things, fun tools that we can create in order to get the reconditioning happening. Because a lot of us have been walking around with these tapes for years, decades. So this ain't something that you're just going to kick out overnight sometimes I definitely leave room for quantum leaps of growth but most of us we need tried and true over time and you keep working that stuff until it works you keep working it until it works you keep working it while it works okay 
All right. Anthony says something that's really remarkable about the time we're in right now is the ability to get lost in other people is gone. We're spending more time with ourselves and learning to sit in that. You better speak. Uh, that's a change for me, but I'm embracing it good. Uh, you know, just, just, just trusting that what we're facing right now is for you. That's a tape. Ooh. Claiming that that is for you leaves room for you to think about, okay, well then how is it for me? Right? Because the second you say it's not, the brain shuts down from even opening up to other possibilities for what this can mean. But if you say something, there's something here, there's something to gain from me here. There's some way, I, something's challenging me to grow, where? Now you opened up your brain to even receive that there's possibility for something else to come in. There's a reason for this. Now you're searching for it. Now you're leaving yourself available to receive about it. But if you've already shut down about it, there it is causing a block to your prosperity. Negative self-talk. Good comment. Um, Rona, I need you in my life. You have a beautiful soul. Thank you, Michael. You should come to the PPU family if you ever feel it. Uh, 360 degree conqueror award. Look at this every day and it still helps me to keep me going. I know Shirley is our inaugural winner of the 360 degree conqueror award. And that means that you have made an improvement in every area of your life. Well, I have a chill. 360 degrees. Uh, Bindu, love the reply, buddy. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Bindu, love you. Tiffany says, in recent weeks on days when I have moments and seem to forget who the heck I am, I walk by my 360 degree conqueror award and just stare at it for a few seconds. You better speak. Anchor conqueror. Tiffany is also the winner of our second uh, 360 degree conqueror award. You have three, I mean, two 360 degree conqueror award winners in this conversation, meaning they have made improvements in every area of their life. Kudos. Shirley was the first, Tiffany was the second, and they are sisters in that honor. Uh, Christine says, I have PTSD, music and garden, yard work is my, hello. You find what those things are that are going to support you and you do them consistently. That's for your best good mental health. Ro, teach how not to catch a bad energy of envy people around you. How do you clean up after that? So then, okay, y'all going to set me up for, for different talks in the future. Let me write it down. Um... All right. All right, that'll be coming up in some way. I'll figure out how to coin it. Okay, so that I think we were complete today. Um, what an awesome talk. What an awesome exchange of energy, right? I am sending so much love to everybody. I'm glad you got a chance to check in. I hope you got much value from this talk. And I will probably see you on Thursday to talk about it a little bit more and bring you some more value. So I hope everybody's doing exceptionally well uh, right now. And if you feel like you want more support or you're ready to take some really bold steps for yourself while you have this time sitting down, uh, not doing much, come see me at RonaBennett.com. Um, look at the, under the services tab if you'd like to check into some coaching sessions and let's get it in. Or you can wait until we launch for PPU, um, 12 rounds of trans, uh, 12 weeks of transformation coming up in June. Come on, baby life after quarantine. What's up with it? Let's get it. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. I will see you guys soon.